Hello everybody, this is Walrus McFish Sr. and we're back with some more Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Yeah, it's Zabirius the Thanatomancer here. And we had just blown up a second Pan Lord and uh, acquired the Magical Rune of Zot. So there we go, more than halfway done with that. And uh, yeah, I guess that last video was kind of short and I feel like we've got a little bit of momentum going here. So why not let's go for one more rune right now. Yeah, I don't know if it is more likely that we find the, uh, you know, unique pan floors, the more runes we have, but I like to pretend that it is. <laughs> pretend like it's more likely. It seems, I mean, it seems like we found that one relatively quickly. Oh, man, it's Swen, and he's sneering at us, admit defeat, thou irky nose-picking sock dowager. Well, I don't know what a sock dowager is, but, uh, I don't know, it seems a little immature. Let's see what you look like, Swen. He has a wrinkled body with butterfly wings. That seems pretty lame. He is resistant to a lot of things, but uh, yeah, he's resistant to most things. Um, okay. Well, we're going to have to deal with this then, I guess. Let's back off and cast some buffs, I guess. How about usual buffs? Uh, haste. Ooh, we got confused, huh? Really? Magic resistance is pretty good. I thought it was good enough. Let's just cure out of that. Cool. Alright, well, that's not that cool. Getting confused is not that cool. I wonder if there's something that we should do about that. Maybe we should, like, try to put on an amulet of clarity or something. But we didn't even bring that. We could just try to boost up our magic resistance even more by putting on our amulets. Let's do that. Alright, our magic resistance should be a little bit better now. Is it worth Hellfire? <laughs> oh, we failed to use it. We got smitten, too. That's a real shame. Cool. Swen got kind of hurt by that. Let's try an Orbital Destruction up here, because that's a pretty good idea. I would just Orbital Destruction until we're out of magic. Uh, yeah, just back off. Heavily wounded. One more. And one more ought to do it. Come on, blow up now. Okay. One more, I even think that ought to do it. Good. Alright, so we blew up Swin. Not a big deal. Possibly we can go and check to see if the Demonic Rune is up here, because it's conveniently right here. Usually the Pan Lords would be right next to it, if it were the Demonic Rune. And even if it's not, there's probably a gate out of here. While we have our buffs, we might as well start chopping our way through. Get our magic regenerating a little bit here. Nice, take care of those shadow creatures. Oh, we got drained. Yikes. Demon of draining. Go ahead and eat that beef jerky. Free up a slot. Anything going on in here? Well, here's a gate leading out. Interesting. Gate leading out is a little bit interesting, right? Maybe that means that there might be a rune nearby. It's worth exploring a little bit. Maybe that's just somewhat normal, but I'm willing to investigate for just another moment longer. This seems like the reaches of this sort of inner symmetrical area. It's just sort of this thing up here. Nothing up here, perhaps? No. Alright, let's just keep going. Don't like the fact that we're drained, but we'll get finished with that sometime soon. Yeah, this is to another region. We just want to keep going. Alright, this region looks kind of dirty. <laughs> sort of brown and green, uh, olive, olive green color. I don't really like that. Go ahead and eat this meat ration so at least we can face it on a full stomach. Nope, because we're just going to go to a new region. Don't even care about enchant weapon. Yep, we completely don't care about this region. Okay, come on. Pack is full. Hmm. I wonder if we're more likely to find gates. Ooh, we are getting kind of hurt by that. How about Azakubos? Let's make sure that we can handle this guy. Seems like a tough customer. Yikes. All right, how about just some Mystic Blast then? If you're going to be like that. Our right, life force is back. That's good. Reapers hit surprisingly hard. It's possible that he had a uh, Scythe of Freezing or something like that. I didn't even notice. Tend to underestimate them. Hmm. 
going on in here? This sort of looks like an interesting, unique structure in here. Yes, Shadow Fiends. Yikes. Alright, they're asleep. What's that on here? A rune flail. <laughs> That's exciting. I thought it might have been a rune. I'm sure we would have seen that, though. Well, that is, uh, you know, you, you sort of expect that maybe... The... Maybe the Pan Lord is in here, but it is a gate out. Huh. Is it worth getting our stuff going here? Let's wield Staff Energy. Let's cast Haste. Let's cast our buffs. Let's cast an Orb of Destruction up here. Oh, yep, so there it is. Okay, this is actually seems like almost more of a Hellfire moment to me. Like, we can get all those guys. It's a Woogrooks, by the way. <laughs> and now I'm keen to see what these descriptions are. Lugrix has a bruised and bleeding body with the huge bat-like wings. It leaves a glistening, oily trail. Ew, that's gross, Lugrix. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. That just doesn't seem very powerful to me. I can see why you didn't get promoted to one of the good ones. Let's try, yeah, Hellfire all up in here. We blew up something. We killed the Shadow Fiend. That was awesome. Do you have Hellfire Resistance? I guess not. I guess it just didn't get hurt very much. Okay, well, that's a little annoying here. Um, yeah, especially because I can't hit all three of them again here. Right? That's not going to work. Ooh, Kush, what do we do now? I'm glad I got the Fiend. That was a part what I was partially concerned with. Let's just take a step back. All right, and now we have a better opportunity to use Hellfire here. Wugrux got slightly hurt by that. Now it's time for a couple more orbs of destruction. Back off. All right, just more orbs until he hopefully dies a lot more. One more orb. Okay, um... He's not quite dead. Do you think a Mystic Blast ought to do it, or should I just save up for another orb? Maybe I could even sublimate a little blood. I could do the Hellfire, but I hit myself at this point. So let's just sublimate a little blood. Sublimate, and now we'll Orb of Destruction you to blow you up. Alright, Wugrux is dead. I think we can finish the job on these guys just by sort of stepping up here. Ooh, we got smitten. That's not very fun. But how about we just use the Scimitar of Flaming Death to chop through these guys a little bit. Um, Balrog, well, I think actually probably the Dagger of Electrocution is better against these guys. Yikes! What happened? We only have RF+. plus. Okay, so I'm not so keen on that. Actually, how about let's rewield the Scimitar of Flaming Death, because I didn't realize how much that RF++++ plus 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 was helping us out here. We are still regenerating, so I'm not that scared. Alright, how about let's just use Orbs of, or Mystic Blast, I guess. Mystic Blast seems to be fine. I am still at about half health. Yeah, we killed the Balrog, and you're going to die too. Okay, let's make sure we have our Resist Mutation on at this point. We're no longer exactly too concerned about... ...getting confused by that Swen fellow. Good. Okay. Hmm. 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 Yeah, we're relatively powerful. We just need to be careful, I guess. We took out that crowd, right? That could have been a Zig Floor. A small Zig Floor. Potion of Haste, Rune Floor, oh, Rune Demon Blade. I want to see that. I really do want to see that. What am I carrying that I could drop? Uh, I don't know. Demon spawn flesh. I guess we should drop it. I just want to see that this, uh, no. I just want to see that this rune demon blade. We've been looking for one of these. Let's use identify, I guess, on it. No need to. Plus two vampiric demon blade. Well, we could keep it and rebrand it, but if we're going to do that, we might as well just rebrand the U demon blade. So I just, I'll just leave it here. 
I should try to clear up a little inventory slot, uh, a little inventory space, because it is kind of annoying that we have to do this kind of shuffle. Rune Flail is obviously very special. Let's just heal up here before we head out. I don't see a rune in here, right? If there was a rune, this is where it would be. I don't see any other area where it's likely to be tucked away. Right? Let's just double check over here. Right? It's not going to be anywhere like that. All right, new region of Pam. This region is kind of blue. A dabba dee, a dabba die. Dabba dee, dabba die. I don't care for it. Let's move on. Don't need a potion of Berserk Rage. I could evoke that if I ever needed it. But I always seem to forget about it. Let's go ahead and eat this. Yeah. Delicious food. Hmm. Wizard Demon. Yeah, we don't have much in the way of cold resistance right now, but we can chop it. Yeah, right, we don't even have any cold resistance. Alright, new floor. Get out of your blue floor. Ooh, to the red floor. Is this preferable? I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll see who lives here. Blood fountains. I can't drink that, unfortunately. New floor. Ooh, it's Manufuac. What's your deal, Manufuac? Uh, all right. I'm tempted to just try to take him out. I mean, I think I, I could escape. But let's uh, cast haste. And now let's try to just hit him with some hellfire while we can. Yeah. That hurt him quite a bit, right? Killed a bunch of dudes. Nice. We killed a Manufuac. Throw up regenerate, definitely. And we'll wield the Scimitar of Flaming Death, I guess. Yeah, Battle Sphere, Mystic Blasts. Mystic Blast, I guess. Yeah, chop a little bit through these guys. Azakubos, more chopping. Mystic Blasts, Mystic Blasts, Mystic Blasts. Ooh, yikes, that does hurt. But now we got them. Any runes around here? I don't see any runes. You'd think if there were runes, that's where they would be. Man, yeah, these demon lords have got pretty lousy stuff. Don't mean to insult your realms, pan lords, but they're lame. <laughs> lame and generic. Why don't you get some, like, themes and loot? New region of pan. No reason to fight those demon spawns, even. Alright. New area. Two hellhounds. That's interesting. Don't know if I've ever seen these guys around. Always interesting, yeah, to see more creatures with corpses in Pan. It's not a special area. I double checked. I try to double check every time. Hellion, yikes. Okay, so that is a little bit dangerous. Let's haste ourselves against the Hellion. I guess the Hellion is not going to exactly blow me up, but how about let's just try a couple of battle, um, battle, battle sphere mystic blasts? Yeah, that works fine. They don't have much life, but they deal a lot of damage. You don't want to be in range of a Hellion for very long. Uh, so I'd rather get off this floor, I guess, if there's lots of Hellions around. You know, I guess I'd rather see a Hellion than, like, a Brimstone Fiend, but... Hellions have killed me before. I have learned to respect Hellions. Hellion killed my deep elf character who made it all the way to Hell. And since then... Okay, well, that's kind of cool. This is kind of like a maze zone, but as cool as it, as it is, we're probably going to get out of here. Potion of Porridge. Absolutely, we're going to drink that potion of porridge. Why wouldn't we? Oh no, give me that potion of porridge. I want it. I don't want to fight those guys necessarily. But I do want to quaff Q. A nice, up to full and gorge status. That'll tie us over for a while. Delicious pan porridge. You know, if this level of pandemonium is devoted to producing porridge, that'd be kind of hilarious. Kind of awesome. I mean, the pandemonium pizza has to come from somewhere, right? Uh, yeah, let's just eat that, too. We're too full to eat anything. Oh, well. That, uh, pan royal jelly will have to stay here. A lot of food on this floor. Uh, reaper. Yeah, right. These guys can hurt hard. Let's be careful. 
but we can burn him down. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Fine. Alright, so this floor is pretty red, pretty uninteresting so far. I don't know, I almost feel like we that last floor was so interesting it might have had a, the demonic rune on it, but maybe that's just my imagination. We are picking up quite a bit of gold. I mean, we are going to have plenty of gold to go and buy our... We're going to be able to buy our Potion of Beneficial Mutation. We're going to be able to buy our Book of Anni Annihilations pretty soon, hopefully. Tempted to just run through here rather than fight that Hell Sentinel. Would that be extremely cowardly? I don't know, maybe. Let's uh, get ready to do Orbs of Destruction. Yikes. See, those guys hurt quite a bit, right? It'll blow up, though. We blew them up. Took away 50 life. That's not too bad. Could be right. Could be worse, right? And you guys will just vanish without a trace because you just summoned. And that is another good question. I mean, I sort of imagine that when you summon demons, you were summoning them from Pandemonium. Maybe I don't know much about the school of summoning, but... So are these guys, like, summoning other imps from other areas of Pandemonium? Or am I just completely misunderstanding how the school of summoning works? We have a resist mutation on still. Good. 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 Alright, you died. Fine. Oh, here comes the crowds. Everybody wants to meet Tiberius. Alright, we'll come and get your autographs now. Because I'm going to kill you right after. Torturous Black Sun. Oh no. Stupid Black Sun. Get out of here. Ooh, yikes. My power. My precious power. It's leaking away. But at least we struck him down. Yes, we don't care. Yes. Ice Devil, chop him down. Do we have any rotting flesh? I don't know. Ice Devil, just chop everybody. <sighs> Show me a way out of here, come on. Potion of Restore Abilities, is that really what we want right now? I mean, I know I said I wanted to carry him, but I'm having a little bit of difficulty with my inventory slots. Maybe I should better drop a couple wands or something. This looks like it should be an area, right? This looks like it should have been something. But maybe we've already cleared it out. Maybe everybody came running out already. Is this... I mean, it looks like where the Pan Lord should have been. But I don't remember fighting a Pan Lord here. Maybe he's already flooded out into the surroundings here. Okay. Infernal Demon Spawns are going to try to burn us, but oh well. Maybe that means just use magic darts and stuff here. Yep. This is fine. Battle Sphere Magic Dart. Followed by a little bit of chopping... A little bit of Azakubos. A little bit of more chopping. Yep, no more malmutations yet. That makes me pretty happy. Yep, more of that, yes. Yep, yes. Uh, yes. Okay, new region. Who cares? Just show me something good. All right, so this is not exactly lending credence to my theory that the more runes we have, the more likely we are to find a unique realm. But uh, on the other hand, maybe not. We don't have that much data. It's not statistically significant yet. Just auto-explore here because I feel like it. That's how confident we are, you know, entrusted to an algorithm. Yep, new region, fine. This one looks sort of like, I don't know, a weird bumblebee region or something. Executioner, eh. Let's back off into this hall. You want to tangle? Do you really want to tangle? Sure. Throw up our Azakubos. And, um, yeah, now just hit him with a couple of orbs of destruction. Seems like the best thing we got. We'll back off here. Come on, demonic rune or nothing. Demonic rune or bust here. Oh, here's another gateway out. I don't care about your stupid blue and yellow realm. It's garish and tacky anyway. I'm leaving forever. 
Ooh, ooh, so this is something. All right, we found what we were looking for here. Thank you, Pan, for listening. We have found the air is shimmering with an eerie glow. The mighty pandemonium lord Manuleg resides here. And we definitely need to wear our, magi our resist mutation at all times because this is sort of like the patron saint of mutation here. Noleg is uh, all about mutating people and twisting them and deforming them. So, we're going to have to deal with this. I think this calls for a little bit of hellfire on these these jokers. Maybe that was a bad call, calling a little bit of too much attention to us right as we enter the floor. Who knows what we're going to find here. But we blew everybody up. Um, now it's time to look at our magic mapping. Oh! And a bunch of sh portals. I was going to say shops and portals, but they're almost certainly not shops, right? I don't think I've ever seen a shop in Pan. Although, who knows? Could be a possibility. Let's take a look at what's going on here. So, Manoleg is almost certainly up here, right? In this weird sort of stained glass looking area or something. I don't know. Surprisingly regular for Manoleg. I mean, it looks kind of interesting, but it definitely looks like it does have a structure or a symmetry to it in some sense. You'd expect that, you know, the entity of mutation would have like a highly chaotic sort of layer, but maybe not. Maybe it's just the right balance between chaos and order that it just sort of destroys your mind. I don't know, my mind, my mind is feeling a little destroyed right now as this Nekexek tries to feed on our intellect. And these Cacodemons not helping either. Again, I don't even think the teleport is worth it. I'd rather just sort of make sure that we're approaching from the right angle without teleporting into the boss, you know. Better to approach things gradually. We'll, we'll try to clear out the perimeter, and then we'll take it from there. Brainworm is also an interesting addition. This is where that potion of restore abilities might come in handy, actually. Okay, so we needed to go, yep, we are basically at the perimeter here. Let's approach with caution. We seem to already have attracted quite a number of people. Well, let's see, I go right around the outside here. Chaos spawns. Interesting. Stealthy, quite stealthy enough, I think. Even without wearing our amulet. How stealthy are we? We are quite stealthy, yes, as I said. Quite stealthy indeed, that's the technical term. Neck exec. We're trying to be a little bit stealthy. I'm trying not to just blow up Mystic Blast, because I think that is quite noisy. Sleeping Caco Demon. See, can we get the drop on it? Yeah, lower the boom on him there. Feel odd for a moment. I don't like that. I'm trying to kill you before you mutate me. Whoops, what did I do? Auto pick up on for sure. No malmutations mutations yet, although we still have to deal with the likes of Manoleg himself. And his crazy eyeballs. <sighs> Caco Demon. Should we try for the stab? I mean, it seems stupid. If we're going to stab him, should we try the dagger of electrocution for stabbing? Well, there you go. Well, that was stupid in and of itself to waste a turn. Hmm. Trying to dig behind us. Feel odd. Okay, I don't like that. Time to just bust out the battle sphere. I don't mind fighting down here in this corner here. Yeah, see, if, the, if anybody wants to come towards me, now would be a fine time to do it. Trying to feed on our intellect. They got us. They did get us, but we blew them up at least. Cacodemon even dug us a little bit of a hidey hole here. Even digging a little bit further would have been nice. We could dig ourselves if we really wanted to do that. Maybe that's a tactic I underutilize. Whoa, Manoleg, Demon Lord of Chaos, comes into view. And then he moved out of view. I don't think he noticed us, and I mean, we didn't even get a good look at him. He just sort of blundered in and out. That's what we get when we're surrounded by darkness like this. Uh, so, what's the plan? Definitely haste. Regeneration. Wield the staff of energy. Azakubos. And now we head up. The problem with Manoleg is he's going to try to do funny business. Oh, I don't like fighting that neck exec at the same time. There you are. Alright, so he's going to try to... summon lots of guys which is going to mess with our orbs of destruction so I'm going to try to get off a couple orbs of destruction now I have the chance and then I'll probably transition to hellfire 
Okay, Manoleg was lightly wounded there, but it didn't really help. Manoleg gestured. I'm not sure what that did. Come on. Moderately wounded. Hit him. Oh, come on. You can't miss like that. He's going to try to loop around, but it's going to miss. Stupid orb of destruction. Alright, so that's fine. Let's sublimate a little blood. That's a couple more orbs right there. Now he is coming in with the summons. So how about an orb like that? Step back. We have time for one more orb. Is it worth it, though? Is it better than a Hellfire? I think an orb is worth it. An orb can do a ton of damage. Yep, and now we step back. I'm, we're very lucky that he summoned those guys sort of behind him. Unlike this time. <laughs> Manoleg, like, what's your deal? If only we knew Glaciate right now. That would be pretty ideal. I could try to get lucky with... Well, I could just back off and hope that I can get a good shot with my Hellfire. I don't want to be constricted by this monstrosity. Like this, right now, I can get a perfect Hellfire shot off. I hope this works. This is probably not going to work. And that that's not a, hell, a monstrosity right next to me. Come on. All right, lucky lucky Hellfire here. We at least killed some things. We killed Manoeg! Do you see that? Oh, man, our Hellfire. Oh, we are the King Demon. We can just hurl Hellfire better than any of the rest. Just taking out pan lords like it's our job, because it basically is, <laughs> being a professional questing adventurer. And uh, there you go. That was really lucky, because even one more turn, that could have gotten really dicey. You know, those uh, tentacle monstrosities really wanted to constrict us and limit our movement, and then we would have been surrounded. We couldn't have thrown off Hellfire without blowing ourselves up as well. So, wow, I, really, I, th I think that went pretty, pretty well. And I think you'd have to agree. I think that was our least harrowing pan fight yet. So, see you later, Manoleg. And then we have here, this rune, which is also pink and purple. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't that the same color as the Abyssal rune? You know, maybe I'll go back and check now, but I don't know. Maybe they changed the Abyssal rune from being sort of multicolored to being just pink and purple. Maybe they should have changed this one to be multicolored. Especially if this one is like, you know, supposed to be chaos. It's supposed to be mutation. I, it almost makes sense for this one to be all crazy. But I don't know. It looks out of the same. I guess we can check to see what color it flashes. I think the Abyss one flashed dark purple, so maybe this one will flash bright pink. Or green. Alright, so that's pretty weird. I guess I can respect that. Pink and green, it's, it's weird. Alright. Picked up the glowing rune and we feel its power. And now we have nine runes, which is really awesome. We're just picking up runes at an alarming rate here. Uh, what do we do now? Do we leave? I guess we just leave. No reason to clear out the rest of this, especially if we stand to get mutated. How'd we do? Yeah, no malmutations on this floor, which is something of an accomplishment. I guess let's not get cocky yet. Yeah, here come a bunch more guys. Let's try to rot a cloud on all these ones. Try to take them out. Nice, just engulf them in flame and then walk through. Okay, we got dopinated here. Ugh. Stupid Nekexex and chaos spawns and everything. Get over here. Alright, blast you with a mystic blast and now blow you up. Good. You are dead. Completely dead to me. The nearest exit is down here. Well, actually, it's debatable. Let's head over here. Large abomination coming into view. All right, let's try to avoid all this if we can. Not for any particular reason, but there we go. All right, new region of pandemonium there, and that was pretty quick and easy, right? A whole nother rune. Yeah, runes per runes per second here is getting higher. Still not approaching one rune per second. That'd be pretty impressive, but you know, something like zero point zero 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 one runes per second or something like that. Anyway, man, uh, I guess we're going to call another video there. Maybe I'll keep going because this is pretty fun, but uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.